Welcome to the African Utility Week studio. Today I'm speaking with Rajiv Singh and Abhishek Shukla. Hi, thank you gentlemen for joining us. Hello. Rajiv, I would like to start um, by asking you what was the objective of the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding? The objective is basically uh, to facilitate business engagement, support uh, the industries on both the sides to explore the mutual markets and uh, look at enhancing the trade and also explore uh, the investment opportunities. So both the chambers have agreed to support the companies in the process. And Abhishek, this one's for you. With India's diversified power and energy sector, um, as well as with the, the rapid advancements in technology and services, what best practice can Africa learn from India? Well, uh, you know, India uh, is a, has a population of around 1.3 billion. So we are in huge demand of uh, utilities, particularly, say, power and related fields. So as you can see from the participation of our companies, we have around 47 Indian exhibitors here who have displayed products in the entire value chain. And Indian companies are known for their uh, uh, competitiveness and also the frugal economy. So they are ready to offer the best product in the best possible price to the African counterparts. So in terms of uh, the cooperation and what can be the mutual uh, learning ground for the two, uh, two areas, one is of course uh, uh, how to stay competitive in this field. The other thing is to how to uh, uh, produce smart solutions. Uh, in India we have started this uh, plan of uh, smart cities. We have identified 99 sm uh, cities in India which, will be, which are being encouraged to uh, adopt smart solutions, smart urban municipal solutions uh, to provide uh, relevant services to all the uh, to the citizens. So that is one area where we could uh, collaborate in um, utilizing the resources in the best possible, the most optimal, optimal manner. And of course, uh, uh, there is a great deal of cooperation and uh, convergence between the the market. So there are a lot many products which India can offer to South Africa. And likewise, I saw many companies who are into water technology. There is one particular company you would be surprised to know that creates water out of atmosphere just by you know tapping into the humidity of the air and then it creates fully well filtered water which is ready to drink you can drink it any time so this is a solution which you think a city like cape town needs desperately there's also another company which is into desal uh, desalination is a very uh, costly proposition in many of the places but this particular indian company can offer really most competitive uh, uh, solutions as far as desal is concerned so so we see there are many areas where we have convergence and i hope to build upon that and Rajiv, I'd like to pose this question to you. What have been some of the major challenges um, in India's power sector where the ICC has proactively uh, been driving change? I think chambers uh, primarily work on the policy front. And uh, right from uh, 2003, when the Electricity Act was passed, ICC has been engaging with uh, the ministry power and also with the, the states uh, to basically reform the power sector and uh, this this was followed by the unbundling of uh, utilities which again led to efficiency transparency accountability and uh, that is how you see uh, the power sector has really grown and India today has uh, the installed capacity of almost 344 uh, gigawatts and uh, this has also in a way helped in having almost 44 percent of uh, the generation through the private uh, companies so ICC works uh, with them the companies and uh, government on policies then we also look at like the way we are here we look at uh, the global linkages, technology tie-ups, and uh, I think that's how we have helped the companies, members, and also we have worked with the, the government. And what are some of the key messages that you would like to see come out of this year's African Utility Week? This is something maybe you can both give some input in. See, our uh, take is uh, that we all learn from the experiences of, uh, of each other. We all need the technology and different countries are at a different level of uh, uh, this uh, developmental cycle. So India started all this maybe 20 
years back. Africa has uh, started it now. But uh, I think uh, one has to go for the partnership, whether it is for the technology, best practices, and uh, we are really enthused by the initial feedback which we have got from our Indian companies that uh, the response is positive. They are looking at Africa as a market, but not only as a market, they are looking at long-term partnerships and uh, looking at technology transfer, investments, joint ventures, and all that. Well, Africa Utility Week is a great platform. You know, it's the largest uh, convention, the exhibition of its type in the, this entire continent. So in terms of messaging, one would be how do we uh, forge partnerships between companies in Africa and the other countries, uh, For my, in my case, uh, India. They, as I mentioned earlier, there's a great uh, amount of uh, convergence between the companies of the two countries, two regions. Uh, the challenge is how to optimize that potential. How do we build up those networks, build up those partnerships where the companies as well as the people can benefit. So that is, I think, uh, the greatest messaging from this Africa Utility Week. And that shows when 46 uh, of our companies come and participate here in Africa Utility Week. Uh, and you see there's a huge uh, pavilion, India pavilion. They're probably the biggest of all the uh, country pavilions in Africa Utility Week. So that shows the importance we lay on this platform. The other message I, uh, in my mind would be how do we provide normal, common, small solutions for larger problems, say uh, drought, scarcity of water, environmental problems, getting smart solutions in day-to-day -day management of municipalities. How do we make it more efficient? How do we uh, cut down on the wastages? Uh, and how do we make it more relevant and more cost effective to the normal people? So I would say these two basically summarize what is, should be the messaging out of this uh, Africa Utility Week. Sounds like there's a lot of best practice that we can all learn from each other. Exactly. But thank you both for joining us. And thank you for tuning in. I'm broadcasting live from African Utility Week.